Call him again. Speaker, can I say gently to the Leader of the House, who I know to be a fair man, that he shouldn't underestimate the level of dissatisfaction about the Government's approach to the Northern Ireland business on Monday. It seems to be a pretty transparent and poor attempt to stifle debate on issues like abortion and equal marriage and restitution for victims of institutional abuse. Not just to stifle debate, actually, but to block any progress on them. Can I urge him to work through the usual channels and do the right thing, give us the proper time to scrutinise these important issues in this important bill? The yeah. yeah. Gentleman raises an extremely important matter, uh, and he has my personal commitment to do just that. I hope that that is reassuring, because it's very explicit. But although, of course, there are ordinarily deadlines for the submission of amendments, it is possible for there to be manuscript amendments, and the decision as to whether manuscript amendments are permissible is a decision for the Chair. So uh, the Honourable Gentleman, while legitimately concerned about this matter, and I hope reassured by the Leader, uh, should not languish in perturbation for the rest of the day because there is help at hand from the leader and potentially from other sources if necessary.